Good afternoon. Monday morning of Holy Week, day 35, coming closer to our Easter celebration. But we continue with the last week of our Lent. And the theme for today is the man the disciples didn't recognize. Every story whispers his name. And Mark is going to read for us Luke 24, verses 17 to 27. He asked them, what are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, asked him, are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things, he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. Oh, how come the, how come... Are you there already? I was, no, I was just, I stopped because Sam was trying to get in. Yeah, yeah. Verse 21, good. but we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it's the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see Jesus. He said to them, how foolish you are, and how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. Thank you for reading. I opened the whimsically illustrated children's Bible began to read to my grandson. Immediately, we were enthralled as a story of God's love and provision unfurled in prose. Marking our place, I turned the book over and read the title once again, The Jesus Story Bible. Every story whispers his name. Every story whispers his name. Every story. To be honest, sometimes the Bible especially the Old Testament, is hard to understand. Why do those who don't know God seem to triumph over God's own? How can God permit such cruelty when we know that his character is pure and that his purposes are for our good? After his resurrection, Jesus met two followers on the road to Emmaus, who didn't recognize him and were struggling with disappointment over the the death of their hopeful Messiah, as we read in Luke 24, 19 to 24. They had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. Luke then records how Jesus reassured them. Beginning with Moses and the prophets, Jesus explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. Every story whispers his name, even the heart stories, because they really do Sammy, um, questions for reflection. God is good. God, sorry. How is God the best you at work in your life? What difficulties are you experiencing? And in what ways, however small, can you see God at work in them? We will continue with our song. In 
1967, Catherine Bonnell Arnott penned, O Christ, who came to share our human life, number 187 in the Salvation Army Songbook. This delightful song was added to the 1987 edition of the Songbook and remains in the recent 2015 edition. In light of the title and theme, it is interesting to note that the author earned a PhD in sociology. She is considered a renowned specialist of family relationships. The words are based on John 1.12. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. With the underpinning of the gentle, assuring tune of Ella's, Catherine Arnott leads us on a sacred Lenten pilgrimage. We pause during each stanza to reflect and pray. We consider Jesus' shared humanity with us, and we pray that he continues to lead us in witness and service. We ponder Jesus' suffering as he stands on trial alone, and we pray for courage to always do the right. We visualize Jesus' sacrificial death with arms outstretched in love, and we pray that we unselfishly love others. And we celebrate Jesus' victorious resurrection, and we pray that he will ever teach us to live triumphantly. Wonderful words to listen to. And we close with our prayer. Dear God, help me listen as you whisper your name through the stories of Scripture. Thank you.